My name is uh, Michael Dunn uh, and you're in Owenstown, Minute. I'm Norman Dunn. You're on a farm of 400 acres that I farm with myself and my dad. The farm is a tillage farm and we have that divided into winter wheat, beans, spring barley, oats and spring wheat. We made a move five years ago, I suppose, from intensive tillage to a more regenerative approach. We only did about 10% of the farm, I suppose, back then. Three years ago then, we fully took the step to non-inversion ploughing, min-till, direct drilling, cover crop and rotations. Every year we step it up a notch, I suppose, so, but for the last three years we've been using no insecticides. Of late we've moved towards inoculating seeds, They're all saving our own seeds, inoculating them with biological feeds, root enhancing natural products. So this is our summer cover crop. It's like a different diet, it's like a, a stomach. It's, if it gets used to the one diet all the time, it's not gonna like it or it won't be, it'll be sick, so. With the multi-species, we're pumping different root eggs at a stand the whole time. You can see the color of the soil is it's black already. There's earthworms and all these little passageways of roots and hairlines, they're creating soil porosity. You can break it with your hand, Smells healthy. <laughs> um, and it's soaking up nutrients there the whole time and it's taking phosphorus and other elements in the ground that are otherwise locked up and unavailable. And the roots are putting out different exits to make them available. This is a fertility building cover crop. So when we're going to come into this in the autumn with either winter wheat or winter barley, the fertility is built there, the structure is built and it's otherwise it's turning a poor performing field into a better performing field at the end of the day. The, the beauty of this um, summer cover or the double cover crop system is that we try and keep it as close to the centre of the farm as possible because the diversity of all the wildlife, birds, insects, bees, uh, solitary bees, you name it, like it starts in the centre of the farm and it diversifies out then so that it, it's like a bomb especially out to the whole farm. So these are our spring oats, um, they're a mixture of, they're an organic variety, Cotswold, three different varieties mixed together. The idea of mixing the varieties, which we're doing a good while now as well, or the last two years, is that each variety of seed will bring benefits to, to ground. So one might be better for disease and one might be better for pest resilience. Like So if you have them working together at the same time, you're going to outweigh it's diversity, like that's diversity, yeah. We give our straw to our neighbour in a, in a stud farm um, and in turn he composts the us by wind drawing it and using a compost turner and turns it consistently until he gets high enough temperatures in it to kill impurities or bad bacteria or anything bad fungus that's in it and makes it a humified compost in the end in the end product for us to be put out on the land and be more manageable and more fertile for our land. Here's some that's slightly turned so as, as you can see it's not it's breaking down and it's getting there but it's still going to take more time for this heap and if we go back further there's some even fresher stuff. It's still in its strawy form and then you come back to this which is nearly fully fresh so that's as it would come out nearly to us, out of a stable or in its manure form. So that's our finished product. This would generally be fairly burdened with worms as well. Good fungal food for, for soil, which is where we want to go with soil, is more fungally or one is to one ratio of fungal to bacteria. The future for this farm is where it's going, like it's there's something new every year that we're trying and it's not necessarily everything that you do this year is going to work next year. Everything you did the year before last is going to work this year. It's, you just have to be thinking on your feet a lot of the time and no one can own it. That's the beauty of it. No one can come down and to me and dictate to me you have to do it this way or you have to put this much on or you have to put that much on. I have control. 